Howdy y'all, this is Rankless Raven, and welcome back to our adventures here in Subnautica, where last time uh, we gathered up a bunch of resources, finally got enough to have the Sea Glide. We are doing amazing running around with this thing. It's changed the game, basically. You can move so much faster and get so much more done. Uh, and we also got the repair tool, finally. So we have everything repaired, and uh, Right before getting in, I as soon as I opened up, um, the thing told me that we have more on the radio, so we're good there. And the aurora exploded. The aurora exploded really hardcore, so uh, that was a thing. Uh, we need to acquire. We have the fabrication for. Look, the the radio is still going off. Um, we have a fabrication for the radiation suit, so we can go into the Aurora. So that'll be a thing we're trying to work towards today. Um, plus all the other things that we need. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already! Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay. Uh, that is over there. They're under attack. Which doesn't mean a whole lot to me, but, you know. What do we have everywhere? I need to go acquire food. That's the main thing I need. We have so many medkits, not funny. Um... What do I have over here? What is this? This is a piece of gold. I need to go put everything back in. How do you make fiber mesh? So apparently I need two pieces of that. Fiber mesh. Creep vine samples. I need to go acquire two more creep vine samples. I can go do that really quickly. Um, I'm not sure where to find some of our other resources that are required for these things. So yeah, I don't have any creep vine samples in here. I do have some cave sulfur still on me, but I don't remember if we need it for anything. Um, we're also going to put on here... Um, we don't need bleach just yet, so let's see. Um, wiring kit needs silver ore, so we need silver. I could make computer chip real quick. I <laughs> legitimately could. I was gonna make the copper wire for this then. And then let me go get that gold out of here. Cause I mean if we've already got the gold that means we'd have more space for something to hide in here. Let's put the first aid kit in here. Um your chip. Perfect. Now we have advanced wiring kit available, technically. Uh, we only need a wiring kit, which requires silver. Ugh. Okay. So let's go ahead. I'll put the first aid kit in here. Of course I did. Computer chip. We have a lot of things to just go put in my storage down below. You have to re-orient uh, myself with things. This is my salt deposit. So let's put the quartz, the fiber mesh, the silicone, I have some silver. The computer chip can go in here, and the acid mushrooms I guess okay and this one is my ugh, titanium <laughs> oh I have way too much titanium oh goodness well, I mean I guess there's never enough titanium hang on get a drink we need to uh, surface. Yep. Get some oxygen. Dive back in and uh, I need food. Hi. 
Darn it. There we go. Can't eat them raw, but that's a thing that I can work towards. Gotcha. Okay, we need to eat these real quick before we go on an adventure. And I should take food and stuff with me, but... Eh. Let's cook up the peeper. And the boomerang. Really quickly. And then... Ooh, we can hold on to this. And this will give us some water too, so... Once we get down to... 70 food. We'll go do that. Alright, where is that way? And they said there's something after them, so we'll come back and grab that later. So, yeah, I want to. Hmm. I do need to go ahead and grab more stuff along the way. So if we come across any kind of deposits or anything like, ooh, hello. Oh, and it'll just be some titanium. That's fine. There's all kinds of. Thirty local scans show a nearby cave entrance, depth ninety meters, leading to an unknown environmental biome. Okay. So... Cave entrance nearby an unknown biome. Got it. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, great. I kind of remember that being a thing. Oh, it's metal salvage. Eh. Mm. 30 seconds. I know, I know. We need better O2. Ah, uh, I need like a laser cutter. Oop. Oxygen. Oh, the reef packs are over here. Come on. I keep doing this and I shouldn't be. <laughs> the sounds. The sounds every time. Oh gosh. Hello, Reefback. Oh, wrong way. Do you have anything of use up here besides those darn things that like to shoot you? The babies are so cute. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, I was exploring this thing. door? No. So there's no openings in here for us to get into, I don't think. Oh, no, there is. Hey. 30 seconds. I know, I know, I know. Is there anything worth scanning in here? Ooh, laser cutter. Okay. Oxygen. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't want the desk. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No, 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 no! I am dead. I am so dead. I just died of oxygen. Mm, yeah, I'm dead. Dang it. I got the laser cutter fragment. <clears throat> I need to make another battery. Oh gosh, where am I? I'm pointed upwards, okay. What did I lose? Uh, as long as I didn't lose any of these things. <laughs> uh, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I didn't really get anything along the way, so we're good. Goodness gracious. Okay. Where? There it is.
How about we like stay near the surface this time? Oh, but there might be some good things in here. And I need some creep vine samples. Mm. What are those? Those look dangerous. Can I go under you? Ooh. There might be something like useful in here if I can get past all these little things. Over there. Can I scan you? Drooping stinger. Thirty seconds. Uh, there's not anything useful in here. Hey! Thanks. Thankfully, I had those things. of those I needed. Uh, they're at a lower depth. I think they're at a lower depth. And they said they were under attack. Okay, we need to go back up for oxygen real quick. So they can come back down. I didn't spend that long looking for him, did I? Okay. Uh. Ooh! Integrating new PDA data. I think I killed it. Ah. Scan it, please. Thirty seconds. Oh no. Okay. Something big was after them. Goodness gracious. Okay. Back up to the top. I'm going. Hi. Right. See if there's anything else nearby useful besides this little bit of metal salvage. Ooh, ooh, sea moth. They said the vehicle sea moth bay was near them. Ooh, hey. Would you stop it? And they're near a cave system. Ooh. That means there might be some more sea moth fragments nearby. That I would very much like to have. Yes, please. What are those? Okay. There's reef bags everywhere. What are these? A floater? Okay. Reef, reef bags. Ah, they're there. Okay. Um. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay. That just means I need better tech. Do you have something for going deeper? Cause I'm pretty sure that's what I'm gonna need in order to get down in there. Ugh. Oxygen. Okay. Can I grab this first? Sandstone. Yes, I grabbed it. No, 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 please, 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 please. Aww. Dang it. I 
gotta find out what's in that sandstone. This is gonna happen a lot, apparently. Yes, I was headed down. Thank you. Headed up. Whichever direction that is. Okay. The rotten creepvine sample. And I didn't get to keep that last thing I grabbed. Dang it. Okay. Solar power cell? Um. Okay. I need to go get one more creepvine sample because I lost one and I need food. Dang it. Grab a bladder fish too, why not? Come here. Hi. Someone, please, I need food. Did I grab the peeper? I don't know if I grabbed the peeper. Let's grab another peeper just to be safe. Please? Nope, not the rabbit rays. You can't grab the rabbit rays. Also, they're toxic. Hey, they're even harder to grab with a sea glide. So rabbit ray, rabbit ray, boomerang. Aha! Uh -huh. I could do a hoop fish. I can't do a biter. Apparently I can't grab biters. For some unknown reason. Oh, fine. Ooh! Okay. I like using the underneath. There's another transmission, but I need food before I can do that. I did grab several peepers, okay. Mm. They're decomposing, but you know... It's fine. Uh, let's go ahead... To the fiber mesh. Apparently the state of them doesn't <laughs> doesn't have to be the best. Let's get a little bit more water because we're going to need it anyway. Um, let's see. I need a, the high capacity one. Uh, I got a two fiber mesh. I need the lead. That's what I need for that. I need to get more batteries. I can make another locker. Um, so let's go on ahead, grab up some of our resources, and see what we can do with some of this. What is this? Non functional lab equipment, so I need a lab. storage. I could go on ahead and work on some of the titanium ingots. And then, whoops, no. Let's go ahead and grab this piece of fiber mesh. We can grab the quartz, silicone, silver, these. Okay. And see what we can craft really quickly. I see you. I don't want you. So let's see. We do need titanium ingots. I just don't know what for. <laughs> there. The, that thing. We need some lubricant. I can go ahead and make that from... We have some sea glide... Not, not sea glide. Other types of clusters. Um, I need batteries. And I need batteries to make a power cell. So we need a lot of copper ore. And silver ore. Apparently. Um. So let's see. And then... Propulsion cannon. The laser cutter we're going to need. 
So let's go ahead and make the lubricant from... I don't remember how many of these we needed. So I'll just grab two real quick. could make more titanium ingots, but I want to save my titanium in case I need it for something else. So everything else I need can be acquired with these any I need, I need other things. I need other things. Uh, so I need silver. Don't know where to find silver. I need a lot more copper. So we need to go resource farming. This is gonna be fun. Just back in here. I have four spaces in here. I could put something that I only have a little bit of. Titanium ingots, cave sulfur, copper, and lube. And then put everything else back down below. I have one piece of silver for whatever the thing is that I need. Quartz, 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 fiber mesh, fiber mesh, silicone. I have one piece of silver. At least the acid mushrooms don't go bad. Alright, sweet. Now we need more everything else. And of course, it's nighttime. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, we were about to. We could get the copper on the way to this. Whatever this is. Receiving pre recorded distress call. Laying back. This is Life Pod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide. So if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay. And then we got something else in the PDA. The advanced wiring kit. We're not even near that. Alright. Um, the radio things we have gotten. And then the PDA. Uh, what vehicle did we get? Oh, the Seamoth. Seamoth is going to be great. It's a one person vehicle with an independent replaceable power cell. Fitted in the rear in a fully customizable design. Low power multi-directional thrusters enable it to function equally well in sea or space environments. Most long range vessels carry at least two vehicles of this class to facilitate the exploration and exploitation of small astronomical bodies. However, they can also be fabricated at a standard mobile vehicle bay. Um, they do great. Um, they have a crush depth of 200 and you can make it more, so that's good. Um, they have upgrade modules, and only if it's one person. They can be modified by installing upgrade modules to the access points, mounts on the wing, uh, increase cargo storage, more power, uh, pressure and collision compensation, enhanced sonar and defensive capabilities. Um, these modules may only be manufactured at a moon pool alpha with a vehicle modification station, it goes anywhere but land. That'll be very nice to get. Aurora survivors. How's his log? It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero-G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. Hmm. Basically, the Aurora was supposed to be like really high tech and really advanced, and it still got destroyed like that. So, 
All right, biters. Vicious pack hunting predators. 94% muscle, 4% cognitive tissue, 2% brain. Indiscriminate when hungry, almost always hungry. Specialized olfactory antenna. Employed in direct detection of bodily fluids in the water at impressive range. Uh, likely, the second pair of eyes likely dedicated to detecting the peripheral movement of larger predators and hungry members of its own species. Underdeveloped tail fin. Favors outpacing and outnumbering their prey over individual maneuverability. Calculations suggest creatures up to 100 times the fighter's body weight could succumb to a focused assault by a pack of 10. Um, assessment. Avoid packs and try not to bleed. Uh, and then scavengers and parasites floaters. Oh, these things. Um, it's two species living in symbiosis. They attach to and attempt to feed on any objects they come into contact with. The pink main body and inner suction jaw is the dominant creature. Once attached to an organism or other stable surface, it will attempt to leach nutrients in order to grow. Um, the microorganism membrane is an outer gel-like substance of a is a mesh of microorganisms capable of forming a sealed vacuum around the creature's jaws. Um, it's a helium buffer, thin layer of helium stored wi within the outer membrane, providing buoyancy to the floater and anything it is attached to. May aid in flotation of sunken sunken objects. Okay. Get this all shrunk back down. Alrighty, so let's head over to this new space over here, but also do our darndest to get some copper. Is there a little cave right here? Little cave. Very little. So little that there's nothing in it. Oxygen along the way. Hello. Little down space. I wish we didn't lose so much oxygen every time we breathed. I hear you, Gaspod. I should have read on those things. They're scavengers and parasites, right? Titanium. No, I still want the titanium. Even if I'm not going to use it immediately. Thirty seconds. I hear ya. That's some copper. And more copper. I know. Well, I tried to grab a boomerang fish along the way. Hang on. What is that? Huh. This is standing just enough out of the water you can see it kind of from the surface. That's cool. It's another creature egg. Uh, yeah. We're leaving that. Hey, peeper. Hey, peeper. Hey, peeper. Hey, okay. I need to get some food along the way. So, someone is getting caught. I would like a bladder fish. A couple of bladder fish, too. I'm bad at this hunting thing, aren't I? There we go. Ooh, what are you? Hi. Wait, where'd it go? It disappeared. It was new. Come back! Darn. Okay. Can't decide on which one I want. Oi! Come back here. Keep clicking the button too, that's the thing. I'm like clicking the button on auto. Yeah. I need the bladder fish, need the bladder fish, need the bladder fish. 
There we go. Uh -huh. Terrible at hunting. Where is my thing? Is that... No. All the noises going on around me. Like, goodness gracious. Ooh. Hello. Hmm. Looks like a good spot for some outcroppings, but there are none. Hi. Oh. 30 seconds. Yeah, I hear ya. Oxygen. Give me the darn cave sulfur. Nope. I'm gonna make it. Yes. This time. Okay. <coughs> Don't cough yet. We're not done down here. That is a creature egg. There was another one that went after us, and I want the sulfur, so... Even if I don't need the sulfur right now, right now, we might need it later, and it might be... Who of us to have it extra? There we go. Nice. Gimme. And we need all of this... Resources. Okay. Because unfortunately they're better found in the- ooh! Is there something in this? 30 seconds. It is. It looks like a sea glide, yes, but... That's some good titanium. Okay. I need more batteries. Yep. Need more batteries. I saw an outcropping. Very nice. Hello. That was titanium. Dang it. Okay. Um, yeah, I, s I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, so much stuff. No, I need- oh gosh, give me that. Copper. See, this is- this is awesome. Mm. How come it only tells me sometimes that I have 30 seconds and sometimes it doesn't say anything? Can I- can I please have the titanium right there? Please? Thank you! The sea glide is almost out of battery. <coughs> this is amazing! I need to put a beacon over here. There is one right there. Oh, some copper. Look at that. There's like so much stuff over here. Ooh. Oh my gosh, look at all the deposits. Go on. Where's the next one? There's one. Oh my gosh. And there's a cave that comes out of it. There's two caves that come out of it. Oh my gosh, I just- I have tin copper right now.
Yeah? You done coughing? It's another creature egg. It's tiny though. Well, now I know if I want to find creature eggs, where to find them all. Um, I think I got most of them in here. So a bunch of quartz everywhere. Bunch of these little scavenger guys. Sandstone outcrop. Ooh, that looked like something I needed. Silver. That looked like lead. Ooh. 30 seconds. Oh, my inventory is full. It's not to, about to be less full. I need the copper more than anything. Okay. All right, all right, I hear you. <coughs> Look at all this copper. We got some lead. Some gold and silver. Look at all the titanium. Ooh, we are doing good. Okay. Now let's go and, and see if we can get this. And I need more batteries. Anyway, so. It's fine. It's fine. I found all of the things. So excited. Um, you can stay over there, friend. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be. It's gonna. Yeah. Where's your breach? PDA in here. That's gonna tell me what happened to these guys. Integrating new PDA data. Ooh, a data box. A compass. Ooh. New blueprint acquired. Okay, anything else in here I could use? No. Now we can go home and craft so much, and next time we'll be able to do so much more just because we got so much resources. We really need a battery for the sea glide. We need a, a battery charging spot. We're doing really good. So look at that. Ah, uh, wrong buttons. Top up our oxygen real quick. This thing helps out so much for the hook. We got the stalker and we got a specimen with infection. Seek fluid intake. Oh, thank you. I just noticed he had a lot of green spots on him that were bright that didn't look like something we should have on a thing. Why do we have a. Uh, Use the fabricate no sustenance water. Do the filtered water thing real quick. Uh, actually, let's go on ahead. It says seek fluid intake. Okay. Vital signs stabilizing. Thank you. Let's do the bladder fish real quick, just so I don't accidentally cook them. And then we'll do the boomerang. 
because we can eat that real quick. And this was called a Gary Fish. Floral flavor, but very little of it. Okay. Uh, we need to eat those well. We could go ahead and cook that other one. It is common for those accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. You can too. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I need to go down and grab a bunch of things from our stuff, but we've got a lot of things going good. A lot of things. I don't think I need the cave solver at this point. Do I? Do I need a cave solver for anything? I've got enough for a titanium ingot. I could make some copper wire. What is this? Oh, the compass. So I need two wiring kits, but I do need some copper wire anyway, so that'll be nice. The compass will be nice so I can know directionally where I'm at. Um, but it's not... like a, a thing. Um... Go ahead and make the copper wire. What do I need for you? Silver ore. I have one on me and I have one down below. The acid mushrooms. Okay. Let's go ahead and make one thing of, of copper wire. Okay. I want to make these things real quick. So we're going to come down to... No. Open. This is my titanium spot. Okay. Oops. No, not my gold. Oh, the titanium. There we go. And then my other storage has everything else and I need these fiber mesh I need um, I don't think I need the cave sulfur immediately but I do need the silicone rubber and the silver okay now let's go see how much of this we have because I want that radiation suit equipment. Nice. And let's unpin the radiation suit because we only need one. And that should be equipped now. Lead lined suit providing insulation from radiation. Lead based radiation protection. So we have a helmet, a suit, and some gloves. Very nice. Alright. Just look at that. Now we need some batteries. So let's go ahead and make up a couple of batteries. I can make a wiring kit. I can make... the habitat builder. The builder, too, is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Nice. Okay. And then... I need more batteries. I need more silver ore for the wiring kit. Uh, I can't make a power cell because I only have one battery. I could take the battery out of something. But, to be honest, I just need to replace the current battery I have. So we need wiring kit, more batteries in order to make a power cell, and then I think that's it for now. I would like to make this. Do I have... I didn't grab the quartz because I didn't think I needed it. Okay. 
The high capacity O2 tank would be amazing. Um, you have the compass on there. Uh, the laser cutter if we could get that. And then I might need another locker. Alright, sweet. Okay. Uh, we are at a stopping point, though, so I need to end things here because we are over time. Because I always go over time on these. They're so much fun. We're going to have to figure out what we're doing to make things with this thing, though. Ooh, it's going to be so much fun. I think we're going to make it close to that, um, that thing that we were at earlier. Because we could farm resources so much easier over there. We can have far, uh, wall lockers, we can you know, do all lockers, all kinds of things that we could go ahead and make to be able to um, just have a better setup than what we have here. We can have another fabricator and all that good stuff. So, anyway. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. If y'all could, do you please uh, leave a like. Uh, leave any tips, tricks, things like that in the comment section down below. And do please subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next one. Thank y'all. Bye-bye.